NBA, right? I mean, <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, first of all, you had Dirk Nowitzki decide that he was going to retire out of nowhere, right? I mean, he, along the, throughout the course of the season, Dirk had said, well, you know, everybody's kind of decided for me that I am going to retire. And then, of course, at the end of the year, you go, eh, well, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to retire. Then, of course, Dwayne Wade and his finale and, and boy, Jamal Crawford, boy, him, those two guys put on a hell of a show with Phoenix and Miami last night. Let me tell you something. Um... If, if you get a chance, go look at the highlights. Hell of a performance by both men. Um, and then, of course, here we go, right? The the final news, which is uh, Magic Johnson deciding that he was going to step down as uh, president of basketball operations for the L.A. Lakers. I, I think that we're really overblowing this. You know, we're... It, it, you know, I'm not going to say that some of this stuff that's going around isn't the truth. There's this whole thing about he had a meeting with LeBron and maybe he found out that he's not as in charge as he thought he was. Then there's this whole thing that, you know, books and articles are coming out about LeBron and the fail this year and who really is LeBron James. And look, if, if this is not LeBron James and if this is not Magic Johnson after a season like this for the Lakers, nobody would even give a damn. And that's really the truth. You would not care if it was... Let's just say it's a run-of-the-mill Lakers team. Let's just say that, you know, it's kind of like a few years ago and Magic Johnson's not involved and there's no LeBron James. You know how long this would be news? For about 30 seconds. It would be news to L.A. Laker fans. You know, oh man, you know, we lost another VP guy and... Oh, we're just kind of falling apart at the seams and we can't get that main guy and da da da. You know, it'd just be kind of the same old story. It would wash. That would be it. But because it's got these two mega names involved into it and because of the history of the LA Lakers, I mean, that's really what it boils down to. And, you know, I don't know what the hell's going to happen next. I'm not going to sit here and try and figure out what. Three people talked about in a business dinner. I'm not going to sit around and try and figure out why Luke Walton is saying things like we haven't had a meaningful conversation. It's not they haven't ever spoke. They haven't had a meaningful conversation in a few weeks, right? I mean, there's it's some of it's going to come out on the wash. Some of it isn't. It's just like everything else. There's he said, they said, and the truth is probably somewhere in the middle, right? I mean. What was it? I think it was about a year ago when I reported on Magic Johnson saying that if he didn't land a, a big name free agent, then he was going to willingly step down himself. And so what does he do? He he gets LeBron James, but then everything else just kind of unfolds, right? LeBron puts up his usual numbers, uh, but he misses a lot of basketball. There was this whole thing about the groin injury, not a groin injury, the, you know, Anthony Davis wants out of New Orleans. Supposedly, they're going to try and get him. All this stuff becomes insurmountable. There's, again, the he said, they said. And then everything just kind of, as the season goes along, is just a massive breakdown between LeBron James saying things like, I knew what I was getting myself into, throwing his own teammates under the bus, uh, alluding to this and alluding to that, Magic Johnson kind of being thrown in the middle of all this. And then when all is said and done, what does Magic Johnson say? I just want to be able to help other people. And I think that we need to just take it at face value. And if a man is not happy doing what a man is doing, and he's happier being in another role, because he's not lying about the things that he said. You can't be the VP of operations for the LA Lakers and then go and mentor Ben Simmons. You may want to mentor Lonzo Ball, your own guy, but you can't mentor both if you want to see fit to do so. Pretty simple, right? So I, I, I just feel like this whole thing where it's this or it's that, I'm going to take the man for his word. Sure, there could be some other things, but if those other things aren't making him happy, then why should he do what's not making How many of us wake up every damn day and go to a career that we didn't go to college for, that we don't really like, we never envisioned ourselves doing, but we do it anyways, and we're unhappy and miserable. Why in the hell should we expect that of anybody else? 
if Magic says he's not happy, then to hell with it. He's not happy and he can move on with his life and do what he feels he needs to do. And what, like, so I, I just, I don't understand us trying to decide what other people should do with their careers and why. It's really not our decision. I mean, we may disagree with it and that's fine, but the statement of, I can't defend these actions. How many of us have walked out on a job, man? Without giving a two week notice. Ain't nobody perfect in this lifetime. So, you know, come on, let's just, let's go ahead and get past the nonsense here and just take it for what it is. Magic Johnson doesn't want to do it anymore. He woke up one day and said, I'm not going to do it anymore. I personally love it because I think we all wish deep down inside we have the kind of dinero to where we could be like, you know, <sighs> man, I just. <clears throat> To hell with this. I'm set. I'm good. <laughs> Come on, man. Really? So, uh, I just, I, I wish Magic Allen honestly the best on whatever he's going to do next. I, I think that a lot of players still do look up to him. I think that they see him as a mentor. They love being around him. His smile, his charm, everything that Magic Johnson has always been about, I think, exuded wonderfully. Um, and he does seem a little happier. He, he's smiling again. I, I, I think that this is an authentic response from Magic Johnson. Like I said, there may be other things in play here, but if those things made him unhappy, and then what he's saying about being happy and being a mentor, then that's authentic, whether we like it or not. There it is. Guys, I'm Drew Duncan, host of the Full Court Press, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. It's all at DrewDuncan83. Don't forget to use the hashtag, don't you dare touch that dial when you share our posts. And as always, don't you dare touch that dial.